Hello and welcome to Mythical Meeples. Today I'll be looking inside this Death Guard Battle Force box, Council of the Death Lord. First we'll have a quick look at the contents of the box. So we've got Mortarian, 14 Plague Marines and 5 Belight Lord Terminators. This is perfect for players who are just starting a Death Guard army as they'll get a HQ, 2 troops and an Elite which will give them roughly around 1000 points. However, for players who have already got a Death Guard army, this is less useful as chances are they already have lots of Plague Marines and Mortarion in their army. It's worth noting that there are no new units in this battle force as well, but the individual contents does do a massive savings for you as you essentially buy Mortarion and the Black Lord Terminators and then get the Plague Marines for free. Here you can see the contents of the box. It's chocked full of sprues. Uh, you can clearly see Mortarion on the right there, easily identifiable due to the sheer size of the model. And on the left you've got the various marines, plague marines and blight lord terminators. It's also worth mentioning that within the box you get three instruction booklets. One for the blight lord terminators, one for the plague marines, one for Mortarion. And then three different size bases, 32mm for the Plague Marines, 40mm for the Blight Lord Terminators, and 100mm for Mortarion. So first we're going to have a look at the Plague Marines. So here's the instruction booklet. I'm not going to go through the rules in this just because of copyright issues, but just a few of the different variations. So you can see Plague Champion or Plague Marine. Different Plague Marine here with a bolter, oh, grenade, sorry. And you've got the Icon Bearer, or you can go for dual wielding. And you've got the Mace and the Axe, or a bolt gun. Essentially all of them have a melee weapon they can go for, or ranged weapon. Here you've got the Flail, which means very iconic, I see a lot of these got the blight launcher or again you've got the bolt gun bolt gun plasma gun the great plague cleaver or the plague spewer so let's take a look at the sprues so as you can see, you have a lot of different options on here, over a hundred different components to build seven Plague Marines. Um, obviously you're not going to use all of them because you have the different weapon options. My camera will focus. You can see they're quite clean models. There are some mold lines on them. You can just about pick them up. So here you can see on the skull, got a mold line there. Um, they're relatively easy to build, straightforward at any rate. They're very detailed, lots of, you've got battle scars and grooves in the armor, got intestines and pipes hanging out. Very gruesome, very gory. Protrusions of bone here. You can see the flail parts here. Various plague knives, bolt gun, lots of different options. Here you've got the great plague cleaver, you've got an axe here, melter gun, another axe. You've got a lot of different helmet options. So here you've got a horn, massive horn, and an almost knightly helmet. And again here, you've got a face coming out of this knee pad, got power fist for the champion, and again you've got some mold lines to clean up, but as newer models they're relatively easy to clean up. So that's the Plague Marines. Next up we have the Blight Lord Terminators. 
So like the Plague Marines, you get a few different options of these. Um, mostly it focuses on, so you can give them Combi Bolters or Combi Melter, Flamer, Plasma. Uh, you also have various Axes or uh, Plague Swords. A couple can be given either a Blight Launcher or I think it's Plague Spewer. Feel free to, to, if I'm wrong, feel free to write in the comments below. And you've also got the option for a flail. So they're a bit less versatile than the Plague Marines, but you get still get a lot of variety in a unit. Take a look at the sprue now. So you only get this sprue as opposed to the Plague Marines one, where you get slightly more sprues. Um, so here you can see the axes, Plague Spewer, you've got a sword, the flail here. And again, you've got of all sorts of bits hanging out of them so this one you can see all the tubing um, this one here you've got all the different spines coming out of it again you've got the horns on the helmet uh, almost fly like carapace here for the armor Got the combi melter here. So yeah, lots of different options. Very detailed once more. Let's have a quick look for you can see the mold lines just about on the flail here. Again, they're not too prominent, should be fairly easy to clean up. Very detailed models, lovely from a painting side of you lots of options as well for a gamer. Last up, Mutarian Demark Primark himself. So you get a few less options with the Demon Primark. Um, as you can see, you can either build the weapon in this direction, so you can have the scythe in his right hand, silence in the left, or vice versa. And as you can see, the two sprues and the base at the top there. So it's quite a big build, as you probably expect from a model of this size. As I mentioned before, you've got a few options. You've got the little nerglings on the base that you can see here. You've got chains. All sorts of symbology that is familiar from the Death Guard models. You've got the fly wings up here. So let's take a look at the actual model now. So as you can see, this model is huge. You've got the wings here, the main part of the torso here, base here, You've got the pistol over here. So this sprue is, so if we compare it to the Terminators, this one model, and this is one of the two sprues, versus the five like Lord Terminators over here. As you can see, it's very, very detailed. Look at all these different spots you can see on the wings. You've got all the little tears. You've got the bony protrusions here on the top. Little nurgling. So you've got a few different nurglings that you can put on the base. These are some mold lines as you might expect, but they're quite faint on here. Um, I don't know how well you can pick them up on the camera. But just here you can see one, but it's not very prominent at all and should be very easy to clean up. Little skull on the base here. You can see lots of detail just on this sprue. Then we've got the second sprue here, so you can see you've got the scythe, chains here, with a sort of carapace of the armour. Got another Nurgling down here. Really tying it in with that Nurgle. Yeah, you've got the leg, what I believe is the leg carapace here, or armor here. So yeah, lots of detail in here. And again, there are some mold lines, so you can just about pick them up here. 
um, but they look relatively faint. Should be quite easy to clean up. You've got little tiny wings here as well. So overall, I'm very happy with this Battle Force box. Um, you've got a good start for an army. We'll see less good for people who already have a Death Guard army. But you've got a nice mix of troops in here. Obviously, you've got Matarian, who's the HQ. Um, or Lord of War. You've got the two troops. You've got an Elite's unit. So you have a lot of variety. I feel like it's much better than the Combat Patrol for Death Guard, which has a lot of pox walkers in it. Um, yeah, just very, very pleased with this in general. Obviously, you've got a lot of options with the Plague Marines, and you could make one big squad of 10 if you wanted to, or two smaller squads of, say, five to nine models. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this unboxing video helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe. This all helps me. Um, you can also become a member of Mythical Meeples or you can support me on Patreon as well. You'll gain access to sneak peeks, extra content from me and it really helps me to keep building the channel and make more content for you. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.